Hi! Good day everyone! I am your teacher for this moment and I am Sir Mark. Today, we are going to discuss the topic Solving Quadratic Equations by Factoring. Are you now ready? So let's get started. In this video, you will learn the following. Number 1. Define factoring. Number 2. Solve the roots of quadratic equation by factoring. First, let us define what a factoring is. Factoring is the process of finding the factors. It is like splitting the expression into a multiplication of simpler expressions. Factors are the numbers that are being multiplied. Example, 15. The factors of 15 are 1 and 15, 3 and 5, negative 1 and negative 15, negative 3, and negative 5. If we are going to multiply these pairs of numbers, this will give us the result of positive 15. Next is negative 20. The factors of negative 20 are 1 and negative 20, 2 and negative 10, 4 and negative 5, negative 1 and 20, negative 2 and 10, and negative 4 and 5. If we are going to multiply these pairs of numbers, this will give us the result of negative 20. Now that we already know how to get the factors of a particular number, we can now solve the roots of quadratic equations by factoring. Example number 1 x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. In order to solve this quadratic equation, we need to get the factors of 6, or simply, the constant term. The factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3, negative 1 and negative 6, negative 2 and negative 3. Now, how will we know which factors will be used? Our guide is the sign of the middle term, which is positive. Since we have positive, we are going to think of numbers when you multiply the answer is positive 6, and when you add the answer is positive 5. We have 2 and 3. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, and 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So we will be having the quantity of x plus 2 times the quantity of x plus 3 is equal to 0. We need to equate the two factors to 0. So we will be having x plus 2 is equal to 0, and the other one is x plus 3 is equal to 0. We are going to transpose positive 2 and positive 3 on the other side, so we will be having x is equal to 0 minus 2, and the other one is x is equal to 0 minus 3. So, we have x is equal to negative 2 and negative 3. The factors of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0, or we have negative 2 and negative 3. Example number 2 x squared minus 12x plus 32 is equal to 0. Now, we are going to think of two numbers when you multiply, the answer is 32, and when you add, the answer is negative 12. So our guide is the constant term which is equal to 32. Now, what are the factors of 32? We have 1 and 32, 2 and 16, 4 and 8, negative 1 and negative 32, negative 2 and negative 16, and negative 4 and negative 8. The sign of the middle term is negative. So we are going to think of two numbers when you multiply the answer is 32 and when you add the answer is negative 12. Among these factors, we have negative 4 and negative 8 because negative 4 plus negative 8 is negative 12, and when we multiply negative 4 and negative 8, the answer is positive 32. 
So, we will be having the quantity of x minus 4 times the quantity of x minus 8 is equal to 0. We need to equate the two factors to 0. So, we have x minus 4 is equal to 0 and the other one is x minus 8 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 4 and negative 8 on the other side. So, we will be having from negative, both of them will become positive. So, x is equal to 0 plus 4 and the other one is x is equal to 0 plus 8. That will give us the result of 4 and 8. The factors where the roots of x squared minus 12x plus 32 is equal to 0 are 4 and positive 8. Considering these two examples, you can notice that the sign of the constant term is positive. We have positive 6 and positive 32. If that is the case, the roots are either both positive or both negative, as you can observe in example 1 and example 2. Example number 3. X squared plus 7x minus 44 is equal to 0. Since the constant term is negative, we are going to think of two numbers. When you multiply, the answer is negative 44, and when you subtract, the answer is positive 7. So what are the factors of negative 44? We have 1 and negative 44, 2 and negative 22, 4 and negative 11, negative 1 and 44, negative 2 and 22, negative 4 and 11. The sign of the middle term is positive. So we are going to think of two numbers when you subtract the answer is positive 7. And among these factors, we have negative 4 and 11. 11 minus 4 is 7, and 11 times negative 4 is negative 44. So we will be having the quantity of x minus 4 times the quantity of x plus 11 is equal to 0. We need to equate the two factors to 0. So we will be having x minus 4 is equal to 0, and the other one is x plus 11 is equal to 0. Transpose negative 4 and positive 11 on the other side. We have x is equal to 0 plus 4 and x is equal to 0 minus 11. In transposing, do not forget to change the sign. Therefore, we have x is equal to 4 and negative 11. The roots of x squared plus 7x minus 44 equals 0 or positive 4 and negative 11. Example number 4. x squared minus 5x minus 36 is equal to 0. Again, the sign of the constant term is negative. Therefore, we are going to think of two numbers. When you multiply, the answer is negative 36. And when you subtract, the answer is negative 5. But first, what are the factors of negative 36? We have 1 and negative 36, 2 and negative 18, 3 and negative 12, 4 and negative 9, 6 and negative 6, negative 1 and 36, negative 2 and 18, negative 3 and 12, and negative 4 and 9. The sign of the middle term is negative. Therefore, among these factors, we are going to think of two numbers when we subtract, the answer is negative 5. And we have 4 and negative 9. 4 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 5, and 4 times negative 9 is equal to negative 36. So we have the quantity of x plus 4 times the quantity of x minus 9 is equal to 0. We are going to equate these two factors to 0. So we will be having x plus 4 is equal to 0 and the other one is x minus 9 is equal to 0. 
transpose positive 4 and negative 9 on the other side. In transposing, do not forget to change the sign. So we have x is equal to 0 minus 4 and the other one is x is equal to 0 plus 9. This will give us the result of negative 4 and 9. So, the roots of x squared minus 5x minus 36 equals 0 or negative 4 and positive 9. Considering these two examples, the sign of the constant term is negative. If that is the case, the roots are 1 negative and 1 positive. As you can observe, we have negative 44 and negative 36. I will repeat, if the sign of the constant term is negative, the roots are 1 positive and 1 negative. And that ends our discussion in solving quadratic equations by factoring. Do you have any question? If there is none, can you find the roots of this equation? x squared plus 9x minus 22 is equal to 0. You are free to comment your answer in the comment section. Good luck! And that concludes our lesson for this day. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned from our discussion. If you have questions, feel free to message me on my Facebook account and on my YouTube channel. See you on our next video tutorial. God bless everyone!